Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Johnny Romes and I'm an outdoor adventure filmmaker and photographer. And this video, I'm gonna be talking all about the brand new Helix filter system from Polar Pro, which is literally gonna change the way you see filters being used forever. All right, let's just dive straight on into it. So the traditional filter we have seen and used forever. It's a screw on design. And if you wanna change filter from one lens to another lens, then you gotta screw it off and screw it back on. And then you have a risk of potentially threading it whilst you're screwing it on or missing a moment. Now, thanks to this brand new filter system from Polar Pro in collaboration with Peter McKinnon, this is gonna streamline your creative process and just make your life a whole lot easier. So the Helix system is compromised of a few different things. Now, the very first thing is the base plate. This is essentially a step-up ring. This is essentially a step-up ring that threads on to the end of your filter like a traditional step-up ring. However, it's not threaded on the front-facing side and this is the only time you will ever have to thread your lens. So right here I have my Sigma 16 mm f1.4 that I use on my FX30, and it's a 67 mm filter thread. So I have my 67 mm base plate, and this just screws right onto the top of the lens, and this stays there permanently. Now you may be wondering, how do I protect my front element if I have this plate on? Polar Pro have thought of that, and they've created a new 360 degree defender protection cover. Now this just goes onto the base plate and this is the whole amazing, beautiful design that this system has. So if you look closely, get it to focus, there's a little gold marker on the base plate. Now on the guard, there are these two tabs. I've got to cover my face. So two tabs either side. Now this is where it lines up with those markers Gotta get that light on, there we go. So we line up the tabs with those markers and it magnets into place. But we're not done just yet. This magnet can easily come off when I put it in my camera bag. So all you need to do is just line up those two tabs that we talked about, twist it into place and it is locked. And then to unlock, depress those tabs, twist again and pull it off. So not only is it a magnet, it has a locking mechanism, so it completely secures this essentially bulletproof case on top of your plate system. So your lens stays fully protected, and then this just goes into my bag. Now the best part, obviously, is not about a base plate and a cover. It's about the filter itself. So this is my VND 2 to 5 Mist Peter McKinnon edition. So we are guaranteed that excellent glass quality that Peter McKinnon himself has put his signature on, just like with all of the other Peter McKinnon Polar Pro glass we've seen in the past. Now, just like the base plate, this has a front 360 Defender and a rear 360 Defender. So it's fully protected. This can fall out of your bag whilst you're in the middle of the Utah desert off-roading and tumble across the dirt and the sand and the rocks and be fully protected from it the elements. To unlock is just the reverse process of locking it. You can't just twist, you actually have to depress these two tabs and that unlocks it and then you just pull apart the two magnets. And there is the front end of my filter with a nice fingerprint smudge. Don't do this, use a lens cloth. So there's the front end of the filter, that beautiful, beautiful glass, look at that. So the rear end is the same, you have to depress these two gold tabs to unlock it and then you just pull the magnets apart. And there we have it. There is my mist VND two to five. And then I take my lens with the base plate on and I just align those two tabs with the two markers like that. And it's locked into place. Look at that, literally going nowhere. So I can just transport it like this if I know that I'm gonna be ready to shoot when I get to location and I wanna use this filter. And then I just put the filters 360 Defender front plate on, and then I'm good to go. And the great thing is these front plates are labeled with an F for front, and the rear plates are also labeled with an R for rear. And you can differentiate what filter is which, because the basic base plate filters have 
no writing on them, and each filter itself has some nice writing telling you which is which. So that's my VND 2 to 5 mist and my basic mist. So it's nice to kind of keep the plates with their own lens so that way if they're like facing upright in your camera bag, you know which filter you're grabbing. And I say lens when I meant to say filter. So this is a nice little addition that Polar Pro have done just to make it easier to, you know, when you're grabbing out a filter, you can look at the, the case. Obviously you've got to put the right case on the right filter, but that's on you right there. But it helps you keep things organized when you're in that heat at the moment, run a gun filming and you need to grab something quickly. And then if you have a filter on and you have these two plates, the front and the rear, they can just connect together as well. And it keeps things nice and tidy in your camera bag. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning, Polar Pro have designed these to be all encompassing for the most part of pretty much any lens that you use. So on my Tamron 35 to 150 being an 82 millimeter filter thread, there is an 82 mil base plate that goes on that lens. 77, 72, you name it, they have a base plate for it. So I've been using this filter system for the last like three months and it has saved me a ton of time when I'm out in the field creating, especially when I'm filming in midday and I'm using two different cameras. I have my FX30 and I have my Sony a7 IV and I essentially just keep a base plate on every one of my lenses and then that way if I need to switch between a different camera or lens, you know, it's just a quick depressor, those two tabs, twisting it and it's ready to go off that lens onto the next lens. And it literally is like five to 10 times faster than using a traditional thread on filter, which just has that added risk of cross threading onto a lens, which I hate to admit I've done in the past and it's always a pain to get it off that lens and you end up damaging something in the process. And this not only connects and locks into place securely quickly onto your lens, it also has that 360 degree defender plate to keep it fully protected. It's always the worst when you have a filter on your lens that you want to keep on your lens and your lens cap doesn't fully work. We know Polar Pro has those defender things which are fantastic if you're using a traditional screw on filter, but this just makes it so much easier because it's all part of that magnetic locking system. So that's pretty much it for how this system works. And like I said, I've been using it since February and it's just been an absolute joy to use because it streamlined my whole creative process and made life just so much easier. And it's all about efficiency as a content creator. Now, I just wanna go over what the Peter McKinnon editions include and what options there are available in terms of different filters. So I showed you my VND Mist 2 to 5. There is also a VND Mist 6 to 9, which is right here. Now, personally, I love to use a mist in combined with my VNDs when I'm out filming. I have a pure mist filter on right now and it adds that really nice glow to like light and it softens my skin and makes me look beautiful, obviously. Um, so that's kind of my personal preference. And I think it's about a one eighth mist. I'm not hundred percent sure. Um, but what I have on right now is a one quarter mist and is a little bit more subtle, which I like when it's like kind of out in the day and there's sunlight or blue sky. I don't want it to be fully like blown out with that mist effect. <clears throat> and if for some, <laughs> and if for some bizarre reason you don't like having mist when you're filming, then you can just get the standard VNDs, the two to five and the six to nine without the mist added to that filter. And then if you just wanna go full blown mist, you know, you're filming inside and you don't need an ND, then Polar Pro and Peter McKinnon have you covered. And finally, my two favorite filters to use are the anamorphic filters, the gold and the blue morphic. Now these filters are when you wanna get really creative with your filming or photography as it mimics that anamorphic cinematic lens flare that you get with anamorphic lenses without spending a ton of money on actual anamorphic lens, which has a very specific use case. This just goes on top of any lens that you have and you're able to get those stunning cinematic lens flares. As with any Polar Pro glass, this is brass construction, so it's incredibly durable, and the glass itself is just absolutely stellar. As I mentioned at the beginning, Peter McKinnon would not put his signature on if it wasn't fantastic. And as far as the VNDs that I've used, I haven't really seen any color cast issues from the last three months of using them. We sometimes do see that in cheaper glass, which is why it's very important to invest in high quality filters, especially when you're putting them in front of an expensive lens. It's kind of counterintuitive to put cheap glass in front of expensive glass. So 
These are definitely worth the money because the glass is absolutely superb. The color edition is fantastic and the clarity is also fantastic. I think I've said fantastic like a dozen times in the last five minutes, but I wouldn't say that without meaning it. So that is that. That's pretty much the video. Um, if you have any questions, as always, drop a comment down below or hit me up on Instagram at Johnny Rome's and I'll do my best to get back to you. Definitely recommend checking out this system because if you wanna save time when you're creating content and you use filters a lot, this is the only way. Because unlike those other magnetic filters, those can get knocked off, whether it's on your lens or in your bag or you're just brushing against something. But the fact that this locks into place is absolutely incredible and such a key element to making this magnetic system work. So once again, thanks for tuning in. Any questions, let me know and I'll do my best to get back to you. And until next time, I'll see you later.